All right, we're doing it. When installing Continuum RT. Okay, this thing is pretty awesome, but kind of difficult to install. I mean, especially if you've never installed a mod before, maybe you have a hard time installing shaders. No worries, today we'll go over how to do it step by step. Should be relatively easy. Yes, there's a lot of steps, but I'm here to guide you through it. So let's get to it. If you're not familiar with what Continuum RT is, it's a ray tracing shader for Minecraft. Java edition of course. Currently you do need to pay for a subscription. Uh, you will need to install the Focal Engine mod. This is something specific to Continuum and you will need to sign up and create your own account on the Continuum website and pay for a monthly subscription. Obviously when you don't want to use it you can cancel it. No problem. So the first thing we want to do is go to the Continuum graphics website. Be sure to hit the store tab from there, we will pick the Continuum product we like. In this case, we want Continuum RT, correct, right? And then we go to the Checkout tab. From the Checkout tab, you will select Checkout, Order, Delivery, click the Download button, click the product you just purchased, in our case, RT. Click the instructions, read over the instructions for 1.16.5. The installation requirements that are important will be these highlighted. Particularly this Optifine is very important. Be sure to download the G7. So clicking the link right here is going to be your best friend. Also be sure to download the correct Forge version. So also clicking the link here is probably your best bet to get the right version. Alright, so go to downloads. Go to your Continuum RT download. And if you don't want to use Focal, you can just go ahead and download the Continuum RT Build 12. That's the last version you can use without using Focal Engine. But you can go ahead and download that. If you're going to use any Continuum RT build after version 12, for example, build 13 and 14, you will be required to use the Focal Engine, which is a separate download. By clicking the Focal Download, uh, just go ahead and download it. Open up your Minecraft launcher and create a new 1.16.5 installation. The reason you're going to need to do this is in case you haven't downloaded the latest build, but in most cases you probably would have. Go ahead and run the installation just created. Make sure it starts up once and then you can quit. Next we'll install the correct Forge version as requested by the instructions. Uh, you will need Java for this, so be sure you have Java, but I'm assuming you have it. So just go through the instructions on the Forge window. So now you'll see a Forge 1.6.5. Be sure to click that. Go ahead and you understand your risks. Alright, so go to mods. Click in the opens mod folder. You're going to want to take the Focal Engine and Optifine files you've downloaded from the website and drag them to this mod folder. So you'll drag those files from the download folders simply to the mod folders as I've shown here. Uh, if you've done any other mods, you're pretty familiar with this. So then go to single player, open up any world you want. You know what you're doing so go ahead and proceed with that and there we go uh, this is not continuum obviously this is just vanilla minecraft go to your video settings as you normally would go to shaders and here you'll notice that on the top right you have a continuum products tab you'll notice that in this tab you have the option to pick from multiple continuum products you'll notice that I'm logged in through Wallimoto you can log out and log into many accounts here but uh, this is where the subscription comes in it, it double checks that you're subscribed uh, here are the multiple versions that you can download from directly through this mod. So, build 14 is already installed. You can uninstall it, right? And then you can re-download or download any other version you'd like. So, I'm going to go ahead and download that again. You can see it's downloading on the left. And as soon as it's done, it will be applied into your shader's uh, window step, right? So, there it is. Continue RT. Click that. And you should be ready to go. Okay, you can see that on the top right, it says RT build download complete. RT is installed and it's applied into our Minecraft build. So I'm just going to showcase just a few images of what Continuum RT is probably best known for, which is the light bounce and shadows it produces in interior spaces as well as exterior, but um, just to show you some examples of what it could look like.
Alright, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment below if you have any thoughts of any future mods or texture packs you'd like me to showcase, or any other comments that you have or questions or concerns. Appreciate it. Till next time. Bye. Thank you.